Hello everyone, my name is Sheikh Irfan and in this video we are going to see non-destructive testing of concrete, in short NDT. So what is NDT or non-destructive test? See, NDT of concrete is a test which is performed to obtain or assess the various properties of concrete of existing structures. Remember this and without any damage or without any destroying the concrete this is very important as the name says non-destructive test see in the previous videos or previous chapters we have seen various properties of concrete work fresh concrete as well as hard concrete fresh concrete will have properties such as workability bleeding segregation then hard concrete will have compressive strength tensile strength flexural strength so if you want to find out those strength or those properties of concrete we had to damage the concrete or we have to destroy the concrete but ndt in case of ndt we are not damaging the concrete or we are not completely destroying it so that is very important as the name said it is non-destructive testing without any destruction or without any damage to the concrete we can assess or we can obtain various properties of concrete so this is ndt and this test provides simple immediate results and actual strength and properties of actual structure or concrete structure which is currently present or currently constructed so that structure for that structure we can find out various properties of concrete and in this NDT method that is non-destructive testing method without the loading to the specimen to failure or without destructing the concrete or without loading this specimen or any uh, member to failure we can measure the strength of concrete means without any destruction we can simply find out the strength of the concrete and this method of testing also helps to investigate the crack depth types of cracks whether it is uh, that structure has micro cracks or mini cracks or any other cracks it has or not we can investigate that also crack depth then it can also investigate deterioration of the concrete so this is NDT that is non-destructive testing now let's see what are the uses of non-destructive testing or simply NDT in short first estimate on-site compressive strength if you want to find out in situ or on-site compressive strength then we can use NDT for the structures which are already constructed that we can estimate the compressive strength then confirming the quality in relation to the standard requirement for example there is a standard specification that this concrete should have this much compressive strength this much flexural strength this, this much life or it should not have cracks voids so we have some standards so we have if you want to confirm that whether my structure is in the relation with the standards then i can find out various properties and i can confirm with the standard then monitoring of the strength development how my structure is developing the strength with time that i can monitor with this test then detection of cracks voids or any other similar defects we can do by ndt that is non-destructive testing we can detect whether there are there are cracks in the structure whether there are any voids or any similar defects it has or not that we can decide or detect by using ndt test then determine the extent of corrosion if you are using rcc reinforced cement concrete structures then there are chances of corrosion of the reinforcement so what is the extent of corrosion in the structure that we can determine by using NDT. Then monitoring the changes in the structure of the concrete which may occur with time. We can monitor the structure or with there are any changes or not, whether there is carbonation process going on in that, whether there are micro cracks, whether there are voids or not, whether there are any other defects, how the strength is getting developed, how the durability factors are there. So all these factors we can monitor or we can see whether there are any changes in the concrete structure by using NDT and last we can evaluate chloride sulfate alkali contents or carbonation content as we can as I told you that we can monitor various changes whether there is chloride attack or not whether whether there is sulfate attack alkali attack or whether there is carbonation process going on in the concrete that we can decide by using NDT and we can also evaluate probable durability of concrete means 
how much will be the lifespan or how much will be the durability of concrete that we can evaluate by using NDT test. So, these are the uses of NDT. So, this was the video about non-destructive testing of concrete. Thank you.